Hey guys, Dan here from VHX411. Today in front of me I have a Toyota Tacoma airbag module. I'll show you how the reset, crash reset service is done. Uh, you can do it yourself if you have an EEPROM reader, programmer, and know at least some kind of basic reading and writing skills in the file. Otherwise, let's get down to it. It's a Toyota Lexus sign, similar airbag modules. I will remove the last screw, that way I'm not wasting time unscrewing them. It's a T15 screws. But I will not show you how that is done. Super simple. Now if you don't know how that is done, then I think you shouldn't be watching this video. Alright, All right, here's the motherboard. When you open up, obviously you don't know what to look for. So over here, we have the manufacturer made by TRW. And the Toyota part number always goes under the Toyota. And it starts with 89170. Cyan, same thing. Lexus, same thing. So in our case, it's 04180. I'm using CarPro as a programmer. I'll go to my CarPro. I'll click Toyota Direct. I'll click part number that way it lines up and look for 04180. And we don't have 04180, but we do have 04160. Also came out of uh, the file is for Tacoma TRW manufacturer. And this is what the chip number it has inside. So we should be looking for a chip. Some of these have a processor, Renesis processor in the newer ones. Those are a little harder to do and some of them that are 9.3 you will need to remove the EEPROM and this one we don't have to remove anything. It's an easy one so I decided to show you the easy one. So we have one chip, two chips. Out of these it could be our 9.5 EEPROM so let me put it over here there's one chip obviously we can't see anything because it's sprayed with silicone kind of a little adhesive so what I'm gonna do put it over here I am using acetone to clean my EEPROMs that way I can at least read I'll clean where the numbers are and of course the pins that way if it's the right chip I can at least read it all right now let's put it to my microscope and as you can see we have numbers over here and it is, here's one. So it's definitely not this one, because it doesn't have the numbers we're looking for. So it's gotta be this guy right here. Let me zoom in. So, all right, 25040. So this is the chip number, 25040. In our case, Car Pro said 95040. It's the same thing. So make a note of it, 2595. They're the same things. All right, so we can actually click next and then read it and write it through CarPro directly. In this case, I got my pin number one here. And if you can see, pin number one is usually, if you see the writing, I can read the writing this way. Actually, let me show it on the 
All right, so if you can see, 2-5, so I'm reading the letters this way. Pin number one is going to be left bottom, so this is going to be my pin number one. Now, if it would be the opposite, if I would be reading the letters and numbers the other way, then the pin number one would have been on the opposite side, left bottom that way. So now that I figure out my left bottom is here, I will connect my pin number one right here. Make sure I have a good connection. So that is connected right now. Go to my car probe and read it. And car probe says crash found. We don't know exactly if car probe will read it and write it good since the part number is off. But in this case, we actually read it through the back end. We always need to save it. 89170-04180. Bad. And I'll put 95040. I will go back to my library. I do have a library of these files. Bad ones and good ones right here so as you can see we're comparing a good file has a bunch of numbers on the bottom and a bad file so the bad file will write crash from this area right here all the way to this area right here so AA stays so gotta be zeroed out from here to here so in our case when I'm looking at my laptop this area right here it's got to be zeroed out let's just see if car probe does it correctly even though the part number is a little bit off but it's made by same manufacturer same chip and of course the coma same car so I will see crash right here that means we have a bad connection somewhere so I will hold sometimes squeeze my EEPROM clip to make sure I have a good connection and crash found I will erase it it says crash removed and also says over here verify ok out of curiosity and of course making sure since the part number is different and as you can see deleted more than needed so this file will not work to do it directly with car pro so what I'm gonna do to load up my bad file the one I read before and saved it as my bad file and follow my library instruction this area to this area I will zero it out so this area to this area I will delete the crash do not touch the AA and I will manually write it so if you don't have exact same part number try not to read and write automatically make sure manually you check because it might not work and as you can see voila I have a tested file that I did in my library tested it cleared it and that is how you clear the crash data with an EEPROM reader so do remember 9525 similar things similar EEPROMs and if you do need this service done and you don't have a programmer none of these little skills right here that I showed you at the end of this video you can actually go to Carmen Auto and they can do the service for you for around 50 bucks otherwise thanks for watching see you in the next video